Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction. And today we're going to be checking out season eight of The Big Bang Theory. I'm excited, okay? Season seven left us on so many cliffhangers. It left, well, not really cliffhangers because we really knew where we were going to, kind of what the direction is we were going to go. Leonard and Penny are engaged. Sheldon disappeared into who knows where. And hopefully we can join him on this uh, road to recovery or whatever he's doing right now. Because I, I like Sheldon. He's one of my favorite characters. So for him to just leave would kind of suck. You know what I mean? But I think he's going to be back. I think he's going to come back to where he was and, you know, come back home. That's what everybody would like. So if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Wait, before the reaction begins, I just want to talk about something real quick for you guys. For those of you that do not know, I started my own candle business. I have the link over on my channel, on my Etsy shop, and I just wanted to show you guys a few of the candles that I am selling right now. We have sparkling grapefruit. Honestly, it's one of my favorites. It smells amazing. It's like if you eat a grapefruit for breakfast, pretty much what that smells like. And as you can see, I use wooden wicks for my candles, so they're mostly they're safe to use. They're soy-based candles, and I burn them around my dog all the time. He loves the smells, so they're pet approved, <laughs> at least for mine. Next one that I wanted to show you guys was Organic Rose. It basically smells like a whole entire rose bed, and it's just automatically amazing just from when you see and you smell. Smells like a bunch of floral wonder, pretty much. Like, I don't know how else to word it. And then last but not least, one of my absolute favorites that I have is the Rum Punch, okay? Smells like any sort of islandy smell you could think of. It's got mango, orange, pineapples in it. Basically smells like a Mai Tai. For those of you that are 21 and older and you know what I'm talking about, there you go. I started this a couple of weeks ago and I started learning about a month ago and just decided that I wanted to go ahead and make it a business because who doesn't love candles? I think everybody loves candles. Make their houses smell right, make their bathrooms smell better, everything that you want for when guests come over. It just kind of, the candles are just amazing. They fill the ambience of the room and they make it to what you want it based on the color and scent that you choose. Well, color has nothing to do with it unless you like the flashy, but the, the sense, you know what I mean? So if you guys would like to go ahead and check out my Etsy shop, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video. And on my channel, look for the Etsy shop, Nature Light Candles, all right? All right, so now that I've shown you the candles, let's get back to the video and start the reaction. Previously on The Big Bang Theory. We were worried about you. Don't be melodramatic just getting on a train and leaving forever. That's pretty important. A few things don't go your way and your best decision is to ride the rails like a hobo? 45 days? Excuse me. Sheldon. Is it at all possible that you're knitting a pair of pants? Um, I embarked on a railroad journey of healing because I went, my university was making me do string theory. Uh, my favorite comic book store burned down. And when my roommate got engaged, my girlfriend wanted to move in with me. Sir, may I use your phone? I don't think so. You, I understand <laughs> that I'm half naked, but there is a reasonable explanation. While I slept in my sleeper car, all my possessions were stolen, but... I recently adopted a hobo wife. Not him getting comfortable in just the shirt and underwear. The of the man. <laughs> I'll have you know Mahatma Gandhi wore no pants and a nation rallied behind him. Oh my god. <laughs> my you can't. Man. Now before you walk away, fermions have half integer spin. My legs are getting cold. Why won't anybody help me? <laughs> Morning. Hi. Want to do yoga with me? Oh my god, wait a minute. When did she get a haircut? I don't have the strength to tell you how much I won't be doing that. I like that haircut. Uh, I'm in Kingman, Arizona, and uh, I need you to come pick me up. I'd love to. I'm just about to do yoga with Penny. <laughs> Leonard, I'm at the police station. I was robbed. But they took my phone, and my wallet, my iPad, everything. Sheldon, hang tight. Hey, do you want me to bring anything? Uh, yes, please, a pair of pants. Yeah, and my toothbrush. Yeah, and my mail. 
Yeah, well, and a really good comeback for chicken legs, because I know you are, but what am I was met with stony silence. <laughs> I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, can you think of a reason I shouldn't invite Amy to come with me? No. Come on, you didn't even try. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. What's wrong with you? Oh, your boy. I'm having my windows untinted. Make sure Ma's okay. I thought Stuart was looking after her. He was, but now that her cast is off, he moved out, and honestly, I'm kind of glad. It was getting a little weird. How so? I don't know. They're chummy. So what? Like Let us. them be chummy. Creepy chummy, like you and your dog. <laughs> she feeds him out of her own mouth? Oh, God. I mean, he calls don't her do that. Debbie. She calls him Stewie. And they're all giggly around each other, and believe me, when food goes in that mouth, it does not come out. <laughs> Excuse me, Officer Hernandez, any leads on the person who stole my belongings? Not yet. Well, perhaps I can help. You know, Sherlock Holmes always says, when you <laughs> eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Now, have, have you tried doing that? I don't think anybody's tried doing that. Nope. There's lots of books called Sherlock Holmes, and there's no books called Officer Hernandez. Six hours was going to be a long drive by myself. <laughs> my pleasure. Hey, my six-hour drive with my dog is always amazing, okay? You, you never live life until you go on a road trip with your dog, okay? You, you, you got to know that. I haven't been on a job interview in years. I'm really nervous. Don't be... You are built for pharmaceutical sales. You're cute, you're flirty, and stared at that like there were going to be three things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any experience in sales. Hope I'm not in over my head. You'll be fine. Just be yourself. I wish I felt more confident. Penny, I wouldn't have put you up for this job if I didn't think you could handle it. <sighs> Thank you, but maybe I should cancel. It's too late to cancel. You're going. But I don't know anything about pharmaceuticals. Why don't I get you a job at this sitting around all day wearing yoga pants factory? Comfortable. <laughs> Bye, I hope you're decent. Raj is here. You just started seeing naked women again. I don't want you to be confused about where the boobs should be. <laughs> oh, hey guys, what are you doing? Oh here? god. <laughs> what are you doing here? I so we both said why leave? At the same time. <laughs> uh, this is precious. It's not that precious. <laughs> I'd like to back you up, but it sounds like it was pretty precious. <laughs> Be right there, Deb Deb. Oh, God, we're at Deb Deb now? In her head. <laughs> or in her neck. Listen. <laughs> you staying here seems like something she would have talked to me about. Wouldn't kill you to pick up the phone. <laughs> Raj is a realist. That's the one thing we can say. He is a very big realist. Any word on my stolen items? We're doing everything we can. You know, Sherlock Holmes liked to use cocaine to sharpen his focus. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure those Cool Ranch Doritos are doing the trick. Yeah, but you can't You. That's illegal. You can't use cocaine. Oh, Leonard, why did you come? Wow. Why did I come? You're my boyfriend. I haven't seen you in over a month. I just drove six hours to help you out. Don't you have anything to say besides why did you come? I feel uncomfortable saying it out loud in front of these police officers. Uh-oh. Fine. Whisper it. <laughs> Amy, it's not what you think it's gonna be. Shotgun. <laughs> so, Sheldon, tell us about your trip. Where'd you go? Where didn't I go? I went to New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Denver, Seattle. Oh, he went to Denver. Oh, he should have seen me. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Hang on. You traveled across the entire country and never left a train station? Why would I? That's where all the cool trains are. Boy, I'm sorry. So you, you missed a big opportunity. Outside. Or had a single piece of fruit. Is that a good thing? I'm a people person. People like me. Some of my favorite people are people. I feel like I'm saying people a lot. People, 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 people. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> people, yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, 
well, as a waitress, sales was a big part of my job. I mean, believe me, I convinced a lot of very large customers who should not be eating cheesecake to have more cheesecake. <laughs> I, I mean, one of those chubsters even had an insulin pump. <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> I have an insulin pump. Yep, there you go. In his 30s, living with my mother? That is weird. I thought he was like 45. Come on, you don't think it's a little odd? I don't know. I mean, she is lonely, he needs a place to stay. I doubt there's any funny business going on. And even if there was, who cares? They're both adults. Who cares? You wouldn't care if I slept with your mom? You're my best friend and she's in a bad marriage. I give you my blessing. <laughs> Raj is a team player. <laughs> All right, let's say a physician was prescribing one of our competitors' drugs. How would you convince them to switch to ours? Yeah, I don't even know how to answer that question. Um, any chance his car needs to be washed by a girl in a bikini? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry for wasting your time. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. Listen, could you do me a favor and not tell Bernadette how badly I blew this interview? She'll get upset, and honestly, I'm a, a little terrified of her. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared of Bernadette. Yeah, kinda. I thought it was just me. <laughs> I didn't even want to meet you, but uh, I was too scared to say no to her. <laughs> me too. Yeah, you know, one, one time I had. Oh. <laughs> this is how she's gonna get the job. Uh, Come on now. Research funding for one of the drugs she was developing. What happened? <gasps> I gotta tell her about this, right? Oh my god, no. <laughs> At the hot dog stand in the Denver train station, Heinz ketchup. At the hot dog stand in the Salt Lake City train station, Heinz ketchup. Yes. At the hot dog stand in the Indianapolis train station, Heinz ketchup. Wrong, Hunts. <laughs> hey, Amy, what do you say? You ready to move on to the mustard round? Have you not noticed that I've been sitting back here quietly stewing for the past two hours? It's been two hours already? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm mad at you. Amy, may I please have a moment of privacy to speak with my roommate? We're in a moving <laughs> car. <laughs> as soon as we get home, I want to have coitus with Amy. Oh! <laughs> the reason I called you is because oh, what? I didn't want Amy to know I couldn't make it on my own. There you go. It's no big deal. Of course it's no big deal to you. It's true. You you are a god to me. <laughs> Can I stop now? Just tell her. I called Leonard because I failed. Sheldon it's okay with me that you're not perfect. Can I have one more moment with Leonard? <laughs> sure. I think that's one of the most mature things that Sheldon's done. Amy just hurt my feelings. I want to break up with her. <laughs> How? Oh my goodness. Everything because she I said you're not perfect? I'm kind of excited to see Sheldon. Teddy got a job today. <laughs> oh my God, she got the job. <laughs> Well, the only reason she got it is because the guy who interviewed her loves me. Yeah, that's what you think. Kind of got the feeling you might not be okay with me staying at your mom's. You're right. I'm not. I think it's weird. Howie? It is. He's a grown man. He's just going to live there rent-free? How is that going to motivate him to get off his butt and get a job? I mean, do you even have a plan? What? Look at the hey, pot called like the kettle father. black. I'm sorry you don't like my life choices, but it's my life. Well, it's my house. It's my rules. Oh, okay, Dad. If I mow the lawn, can I have my allowance? Hey, don't you take that sarcastic tone with him. I have to listen to you. Well, don't talk to her like oh, that. Oh, God. That is my Mother, you wife, my wife. Wow. <laughs> you know what? This isn't getting us anywhere. I wish I'd never gone on that trip. I feel no better now than when I left. But you still accomplished something. Yeah. If you had told anyone that you were going away on a train by yourself across the country, do you know what they would have said? 
that I couldn't do it. Exactly. Right after they said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot like Gandalf the Grey. No, you're not. He fought the Balrog and emerged stronger than ever as Gandalf the White. I was robbed of my phone and pants, and I too came back stronger. Burst forth as the world's smartest butterfly. Is he okay? I could have gotten himself home from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel renewed. Look who's back. Your hair is different. You changed your hair. I can't take it because I'm out. <laughs> like to see pictures from my trip penny called it too that's the best part uh this was the seat i was going to sit in but didn't because there were cracker crumbs on it uh-huh as, as it was first class i suspect ritz <laughs> this is the train bathroom you know i almost died in a fire in des moines but i stayed put oh my god uh, fyi that's when the emodium gave out <laughs> You know what, though? There's nothing wrong with going on a trip and just touring train stations. Like, I think it's cool that Sheldon just did that to begin with. Like, he literally went outside of his comfort zone for that. I recently read that during World War II, Joseph Stalin had a research program to create super soldiers by having women impregnated by gorillas. Sick use of science. I don't want to... the baby's yeah. buzzy. No, Raj, I no. I wonder if Stalin considered any other animal. The animal for interspecies super soldier is koala. He would Why? wind up with an army so cute it couldn't be attacked. <laughs> but half man, half owl could The fly. answer is cuddly soldiers with big flat noses. Moving on. Uh, not yet, but I will. Hey, hey. <laughs> I said I'll get to it. Why is Bernadette being I'm weird? I'm sensing awkwardness, am I right? I don't want to be pushy, but you've never done pharmaceutical sales before. Seems like you could use this time to get a head start. Well, the first few weeks will be all training, and they'll tell me everything I need to know. But imagine how impressed they'd be if you showed up already familiar with the material. Oh, okay, God. So what, yeah, I could see this. Pet? No. It all started with a big bang. Hey! Mrs. Davis. Yes, <laughs> Dr. Cooper. That's right, good job. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, uh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Cooper, while you were away, we came up with a solution that would allow you to change your field of study. Wow. They fired him. Which, uh, pouting and running away actually worked. <laughs> no, they you, fired him. That may not be a lesson you want to reinforce with me. Currently, you're being paid under a grant to specifically research string theory. If we promote you to junior professor, oh. you'll be able to choose whatever field of research you'd like. Oh. But if I'm a professor, then I'll have to teach a class. That is correct. Correct. I can impart my knowledge to the next generation of scientists? Yes. You people are sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, come on, that's a good option. I would take it, but I hey, get why he doesn't like it. Bernadette meeting us at the restaurant? Uh, no, actually I didn't invite her. How come? Oh. Ever since she helped me get this job, she won't stop bugging me. Well, I think she just wants you to do well, and she's worried that you won't, because you were just a stunningly poor waitress. Okay, so no Bernadette. Well, you saw her the other night, am I wrong? No, I just, I feel kind of uncomfortable talking about her like this. Usually when someone's being talked about behind their back, it's me and it's right in front of my face. Sharing negative attitudes about a third party can be a powerful bonding force between two friends. Amy. So what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying in the spirit of science, what is that little skank's problem? Oh my goodness. That doesn't mean that so, that's what she I'm is just because she cared the, about Penny's career. Me. Oh, well, her last name is Sweeney, and something just didn't seem right about Kutrapini. <laughs> hey, how to go with human resources? Awful. They're allowing me to move on from string theory, but they made me a junior professor and are requiring me to teach a class. This might not be that bad. You like telling people they're wrong. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I enjoyed that one doesn't mean I always do. You enjoy giving people grades. A valid point, but unoriginal, B minus. It is like an earful of melted caramel. More like melted grease. Most importantly, this will let you move on and study dark matter. 
It is true that many of my heroes have taken students under their wings. And... Measuring starfish serotonin levels in response to 1.2 molar stimulation of pleasure cells. <laughs> you like that, don't you? <laughs> you want to get a drink later? Just the two of us? No penny? Not tonight. I'm a little frustrated with her. Because you got her the job and you think she should be working harder to prepare for it? So it's not just me. You see it too. Oh my god, they're dragging Amy into the middle of this and I don't know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> you can't play both sides of the coin. <laughs> if she doesn't do well, th this could reflect poorly on you. Exactly. Does she not realize it or does she not care? I don't know. Both. The important thing is I am here for you so we can mutually disparage this unpleasing third party. <laughs> hey, we just wanted to see how your class was going. Where is everybody? There is no class. Did you send everyone to the principal's office already? <laughs> no one signed up. Hey, Sheldon, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Now I can devote all my time to dark matter. Oh, you bought cookies for everyone? Oh, yes, Fig Newtons. I was going to ask them which scientist both helped to develop calculus and had a famous cookie named after him. Isaac and after Newton. someone said Newton, I was going to tell them they're wrong. The cookies are named after a town in Massachusetts. <laughs> and then I'd throw the cookies away. Thinking about getting my doctorate and he wants to teach? Why not? No. Howard, but I appreciate the gesture, but this is a graduate level physics class. <laughs> I don't think you'd understand a single thing I was talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sheldon, come yes. on. How would you determine the ground state of a quantum system with no exact solution? X squared times e to the minus x without looking it up. I'd use Feynman's trick, differentiate under the integral sign. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go, Howard. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, Howard. What is the correct interpretation of quantum mechanics? However, I know you believe in the many worlds interpretation, so I'll say that. Now, do you think I'm smart enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You might have gone to school for a couple more years than me, but guess what? Engineers are just as smart as physicists. <gasps> you take that back. So this is why. Bernadette, this is why. I get home, and Penny calls to complain about her. And then while I'm talking to Penny, I get a text from Bernadette. I am trying to prepare my lesson plan for Howard. Why are you telling me this? Oh, he did let Howard take the class. Because okay, it's great. Taken 15 years, but high school is finally awesome. <laughs> I am trying to figure out a way to intellectually emasculate a dear friend of mine. <laughs> but I'm Not just... now. You better watch that attitude, buddy. You're dating the popular girl now. <laughs> Look at this section over here. Even I don't really understand it. <laughs> Sheldon, why are you doing this? Well, I'm a teacher, Leonard. It's my job. <laughs> No. No. I, Your job I, I, is to why teach. Why are you going to so much trouble to prove that you're smarter than Wallowit? I think the idea that someone could be as smart as you, or even smarter, scares the pants off you, and you can't deal with it. Interesting point. Threatens my intellectual superiority. Exactly. Might be something to think about. Leonard? Yeah? Howard's allergic to peanuts. How can I use that against him? <laughs> Before we do, I just talked to Leonard, and if you're gonna spend all your time trying to belittle me by making this class unnecessarily hard, then I'm out. But, I mean, if you're interested in making a sincere effort to be a good teacher, then I'm willing to give this a shot. I don't think uh, Sheldon's uh, First doing things it. first, um, are you familiar with the brachistochrone problem? I am. Good. And how it relates to the calculus of variations? It's an inverted cycloid. Yeah, wonderful. The good news is, I'm grading on a curve, so you're pretty much guaranteed to see. <laughs> All I do is win, 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 I'm never going hands go up, and they say that. Say, well, <laughs> if you're going to be a crappy teacher, then I'm going to be a crappy student. So I can shoot you with a spitball. <laughs> you're not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. This is an institution of Yep, here it goes. I am your professor, and you're going to treat me with the proper... Oh! Is that going to be on the test? Because I don't think I can do that again. 
Hey, girlfriend. Can I get a what, what? What? Close enough. Um, I was just calling to see what you were up to tonight. She was just trying to help. Plus, I really want to do well at this job, so. Okay, good luck. And call me later. You know, if you decide she's a bitch or something. <laughs> wow. Amy, stop letting stuff change you. And now she's gonna, oh, Hey, girlfriend. No. That sounds fun, but I promised Penny I'd come by and help her study. Oh, well, good luck getting her to do that. She's probably out getting another manicure. <laughs> you remember when she did that? You remember? <laughs> you mean like where she's nice to your face? Okay, got it, bye. <laughs> hey, boyfriend. <laughs> Spitball, probably gonna die. <laughs> I promise your uvula does not have an STD. <laughs> Are you sure? It just doesn't feel as innocent as it used to. You reported me to human resources? You violated the sanctity of my mouth. That well, sounds bad. Class, so I hope you're happy. You enjoy making fun of engineering so much. How do you quantify the strength of materials? Young's modulus. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How does the flow rate in a pipe depend on its diameter? Oh, that's a good one. Because uh, I don't know. No, do you? <sighs> What's the matter, smart guy? Oh, God, he's got a break. <laughs> Oh, the spitball is in his Thank mouth. goodness I got it! Oh, but now I can quit checking my stool. Okay. That was gross. What are the potential side effects for our erectile dysfunction drug? Headaches, dizziness, and nausea. Yeah. Those are also the side effects of having a 75-year-old man with an erection climb on top of you. Okay, good. She seemed like she really wanted to go out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey girl! <laughs> How long is a galactic year? 250 million years! Yes! Yay! Okay, this one is for a Cadbury cream egg. Oh, it's not even Easter time! This is crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon's hilarious when he's in solid. We are so smart. <laughs> Why didn't girls like us in high school? Because we were awkward and weird and couldn't play sports. Right again. <laughs> so how does this game work? I just throw it like a real ball? Yep, yeah, just nice and easy right over the plate. All right. Oh, is this the Wii? You suck, Wallowitz! Or is this a connect? Is that's a connect. Well, I'm heckling you. It's a beloved part of baseball. Hi, what's going on? Baseball. Okay, it's not what I meant when I said go outside and play. But he's practicing. For what? The Angels wanted an astronaut to throw out the first pitch, so guess who they called? What? You? Really? Well, a lot of people who weren't available, but then me. Wait, may I remind you that you're talking to the seeker, beater, chaser, and water boy of the third place Griffith Park Quidditch team. Oh, gotcha. I know. Watching your boyfriend run around with a broomstick between his legs isn't something you forget. You look like a jackass! Get out, you're hurting my feelings. Now you know why we're not outside. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. Did you enjoy my lecture? No, and neither did our waiter. <laughs> Wait, if you're going to serve Cornish Game Hen, you should either be familiar with the history of Cornwall or be prepared to learn it. No, it's, it's food. It's hard to argue with that. Sheldon, how about tomorrow night we see a movie? You guys are going out two nights in a row? Yeah, well, I missed a number of date nights while I was on my train trip, and I'm contractually obligated to make them up under the terms of the relationship agreement. If you're free tomorrow night, I'd love to have you join us on a double date. Aww. You are aware that a double date doesn't count as two dates. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then come or don't, I don't care. <laughs> surprised you agreed to do this in front of a stadium full of people. Oh, they're doing Space Day and NASA asked me. I felt like I couldn't say no. Hey. Well, if you want, I can help you practice. I played a lot of softball growing up. Thank you. That would be great. What's wrong with the way I run? Oh, just kidding. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I then 
Ben suggested a pub. Yeah, which I was initially skeptical of until I saw online that they serve Yorkshire pudding. You don't even like Yorkshire pudding. No, it's yucky. But informing people about the history of Yorkshire is yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> Ignore them, Amy. They're just jealous because they'll never have a relationship as good as ours. Wow. Isn't this when he says bazooka or something? <laughs> Bazinga. I wasn't making a joke. I was merely stating facts. Amy and I have a superior relationship to yours. Howard and Bernadette, Raj and his girlfriend, Penny and Chardonnay, Penny and you. Oh my God, Penny and Chardonnay? <laughs> there isn't any ranking. And if there were, we wouldn't be at the bottom. So you never played baseball as a kid? Not even Little League? Well, I was going to, but the day of tryouts, I found my dad's Playboy collection. <laughs> Threw my arm out. <laughs> How much further? Keep going. Oh my goodness. How about now? I'll let you know. Are you saying stop and we're just too far away to hear you? Hey, stop. <laughs> I gotta, I, I, I just, I gotta ask. <laughs> what makes you think that your relationship is so wonderful and ours isn't? For starters, we enjoy spending time together. <laughs> you believe this guy has to be the best in everything? Well, so what? Why do you even care? Oh, listen to them. Not even married and the honeymoon's over. Whatever, you can't even go on a date without checking your relationship agreement. Good thing I'm not wearing slag underwear right now, because there's about to be a fire. <laughs> I don't want to know. It's not that hard. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to wait till he throws, and then I'll say what That's I'm thinking. Like saying, here's how you fly a plane. Get in the airplane, know where you want to go, and fly it. <laughs> Come on, Howard, file it in. I, I don't know what's scarier, the fact that he's throwing or the fact that Raj is going to catch it. <laughs> Literally, like... <laughs> so I was going to say, I don't even know how far I can throw a baseball. I haven't thrown baseball in years. Like, wasn't my sport growing up. Some perfect couple, he won't even share his food with her. It has avocado on it. She's allergic to avocado. Are you so jealous of our relationship that you want Amy to die? <laughs> Everything is quantifiable. You put that French fry, a seven. Spider-Man, a nine. And the number nine, oddly, only a four. I could see it. A hundred. <laughs> Crispiness, saltiness, and shape, which is why a curly fry only gets a two. If I wanted curls for dinner, I'd order a clown wig. They develop the relationship closeness inventory, which predicts the stability of a couple based on behavior. Yeah, not to be confused with the french fry goodness inventory. That's pure Cooper. No, don't. What? Just don't take it. Why not? Because it's stupid. Who cares what number it is? Come on, it'll be fun. I said I don't want you to. Oh. I'm getting another drink. Something's wrong. I'm going to count this as two dates. They're a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon! <laughs> Uh, kind of. Too late for him to cancel? I think so. Yeah, that's not good. Heads up! Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> no, stop being stupid. Um, phew? <laughs> yeah, why was she be- why is she being mean is right now? Is this about now? the test or is this about us? Look, I don't need a score on a test to make me worry about something I'm already worried about. What are you worried about? Being in common, and it scares me. Yeah, that scares me I too. Could, I could see it. It does? Sometimes. Well, that's not good! <laughs> Just because you're scared doesn't you mean, mean you can't make it work. The infatuated with me was the rock we were building this relationship on! So that's something that we have in common. <laughs> Leonard, also, that was the wrong thing to say. I think I'm not funny. Hey, Fruit Loops, what's up? <laughs> hey, Mike. Listen, 
NASA asked me to throw out the first pitch at an Angels game. You and he's going to cancel it. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> what else you up to? <laughs> Is that it? I do it. Kids are the worst. <laughs> My own daughter tweeted, I have a giant nose. You do. Well, maybe I'll do a good job. <laughs> I don't know. In space, you couldn't even toss me a pen, and that was in zero gravity. <laughs> Give your wife a hug for me. She's so much cuter than you, I don't know how you ever got her. <laughs> He's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say next we take on Kuthra Polly and his dog. We really give ourselves a challenge. <laughs> I just want to say one more thing about this. Just because Penny and I are very different people does not mean that we're a bad couple. Did I sit around wondering? No. I sent Leonard in with a pointy stick in a bag. <laughs> I killed his Chewbacca slippers. <laughs> Marriage is scary. You're scared, I'm scared. But it doesn't make me not want to do it. It just makes me want to hold your hand and do it with you. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, I love how they put a waterfall at center field. It really ties the whole stadium together. Nobody said anything about watching the game. Sheldon, what did you expect? I expected to see Howard throw the baseball, finish my hot dog, and hightail it across the street to Disneyland just in time for Mickey's Sensational Parade. That sounds like a good plan, too. If we stay, I'll buy you cotton candy and a bobblehead. Howie, I am so proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of me, too. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Wish me luck. Go get him. Thank, Thank you. you. Can he really throw a ball? He's on our Quidditch team, he does Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a message for the young people here today. In my head said something's gonna happen do it so i practice and practice and you know what that little voice <laughs> so today's first pitch will be delivered to home plate by science ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i present to you a working prototype of the mars rover oh boy I'm an idiot who didn't think this through. <laughs> okay, new plan. We go to Disneyland, play hide and seek on Tom Sawyer's Island, and then come back and see the end of the pitch. Oh, Howard. Okay, while we're waiting for the ball to arrive, here's some fun facts about Mars. You suck, Lodovitz! <laughs> Poor Howard. It's still not, it's still going. All right, so that was part one of season eight for the Big Bang Theory, and I gotta say it was very good so far. We <laughs> we came out swinging with some uh, some good jokes and everything. No pun intended from that last episode. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish that Howard, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, made like a launcher or something, and it just hit Sheldon. Like, it just would have been funny. I don't know why they missed like an opportunity to do that. It would have been great, but. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.